I can't sit down. I'm like, ooh, I'm going crazy. So, but I also believe in interactive training. You know what I mean? Does anybody know what year it is? Could you tell me? What year? 2016. Great. Yes, what century? A little bit harder question. What century is this? Congratulations. Does anybody here ever watch television? Yes. Has anybody here ever watched ABC television? You know the, the network ABC? Who owns ABC? And how many times have you been watching ABC and they say, in the interest of full disclosure, a or Disney is our parent company. Have you ever heard that? Yes. Well, in the interest of full disclosure and total transparency, I don't believe in ROI. Thank you. Now, why don't I believe in it, right? Because it's 2014 and it's the 21st century. And who are we training today? We're training a different generation than we trained in the 1950s and the 60s and the 70s and the early 80s. And this new generation learns differently. How do I know this? My wife and I, we were in our early 30s when we first started having children. So we have a couple of them millennials, like what you call them nowadays. And my daughter, she learns everything by whipping out her phone, going to YouTube or wherever, and looking up only what she needs to know and only when she needs to know it. Okay? And then she goes on doing her business. And I think the traditional ROI is not geared towards an individual. It's geared towards large data sets. Okay. When I worked for GE, we had 7,900 gas turbines under contract, and we had 9,994 compressor bleed valve trips in one year. Cost of power plant about $100,000 for each trip. Became very easy to calculate ROI to make a training program to teach people about compressor bleed valve trips. That was easy to do. Okay? And you could do that. And we did it. We went out, we trained them, and 18 months later, we had 69 compressor bleed valve trips. So you can able to show that. But you gotta have big data and you gotta have big groups of people. And today, in today's world, with the type of people that we have entering it, they don't want that A to Z training. They want that little piece that they need. So I propose that we change ROI from return on <coughs> investment to return on individual. And how does this training help these individuals achieve this goal? Thank you.